Welcome to Global Tax Talks Tax in 60 Seconds. I'm Will Morris, and here are some things to watch out for in the coming week. First, the G20 again failed to issue a communique because of issues related to Russia. However, it looks like the main attraction on tax was minimum taxes, but this time a minimum tax on what were described as super-rich individuals rather than corporations. The Brazil G20 presidency invited Gabriel Zuckman of the EU Tax Observatory to present to the meeting, and there was apparently relatively broad agreement on the proposal. In relation to the actual two-pillar proposal, the Brazilian summary referenced reaching a timely agreement on a Pillar 1 MLC with a view to signing by the end of June 2024. And this last item is important because of further Mount B developments this week, with Australia saying that countries should have a choice on whether to adopt the Mount B rules, and by implication that they wouldn't choose it, and New Zealand stating flatly that they wouldn't adopt it either. Meanwhile, the West African Tax Administration Forum advised its members to hold off adopting until the issue of low-capacity jurisdictions was sorted out. As I said last week, the U.S. has a strong preference for the process to be binding, so these developments may affect the U.S. view on signing the MLC in June or some other time. Finally, look out for further significant changes to VAT by an important BRIC country. I mentioned Brazil a few weeks ago, but South Africa is now looking to update its electronic services regulations and VAT to focus on non-resident vendors in B2C rather than in B2B. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and come back next week so you stay global tax ready.